This video will help you plan a trouble-free installation. It is not intended to replace the instructions provided in the manual. Please read the Warmwire and Sunstat manuals entirely before installing the system. While electric floor heating adds comfort to cold surfaces, it is normally not used as a primary heat source. Warmwire may be used as a heating source if a proper heat load calculation is performed. Consult our technical design team for assistance. Warm wire should not be installed in walls, ceilings, closets, under built-in cabinets, or within six inches of toilet wax rings. Warm wire adds flexibility in wire spacing to achieve more or less heat as desired. A standard three inch spacing is used in most applications. Use two and a half inch spacing in areas that have a higher heat loss. Three and a half inch spacing may be used in lower heat loss areas such as hallways. Warm wire can be installed in shower floors and benches where permitted by local codes. A wire with a dash W located on the UL label indicates that the wire may be used in shower applications. Please check local codes to ensure this type of installation is permitted in your area. For more about shower installations, watch the Warm Wire shower installation video. To select the correct warm wire size, start by calculating the room's square footage. Then, subtract out the area of any built-ins. Multiply the result by 0.9 to account for the unheated perimeter. Once the heated area has been determined, you will need to choose between 2.5, 3, or 3.5 three inch wire spacing. Remember, warm wire heating wire cannot be cut. However, excess wire can be used to fill in empty spaces. It's better to select the length that is too short instead of too long. Shorter length wire can be installed with standard spacing in high traffic areas, while leaving areas where traffic is not expected unheated. Make sure to prep your subsurface to ensure it meets structural requirements before installation. When installing over a concrete slab, a thermal break or insulator between the slab and warm wire is recommended. You want the heat to be felt on the surface instead of conducting into the slab below. Here are some things to keep in mind. Consult with your electrician before ordering. They can tell you if the project fits within the capacity of your existing panel. They can also help you select between 120 and 240 volt options. You may only add warm wire to an existing circuit if it will not increase the overall load beyond the circuit's rated capacity. Consult your electrician. If there is enough room in your electrical panel, you can choose either 120 or 240 volt warm wire. 240 volt cables can cover twice the area with the same amp draw, but need two spaces on your panel for each breaker. One Sunstat thermostat can operate up to 15 amps of warm wire. Code regulations require a 20 amp circuit for loads greater than 12 amps. This means two or three cables may be connected to the same thermostat. If the thermostat needs to control more than 15 amps, add a relay. Each relay will take 15 amps as well and will require its own circuit to the panel. Never combine 120 volt and 240 volt spools on the same circuit. Select products to match desired spacing and square footage. Product selection tables are available in the warm wire manual. A product calculator is available on wattsradiant.com. To estimate the quantity of cable strap, divide the installation square footage by 40 one box contains 25 feet of cable strap, which covers roughly 40 square feet. For more information about warm wire or other radiant products, visit wattsradiant.com.